Okay, and we're live. Thank you uh, everyone for joining us here today. Uh, my name is Mike uh, from the Chainlink community team, and I'm really excited to, uh, to have here today, Joe, who is partner and tech coordinator at, uh, at Spirex. He's also a researcher. I uh, want to thank, first of all, the uh, Chainlink and Spirex communities uh, for, for joining us here today. Really appreciate you guys having uh, uh, joining us here uh, for this particular live stream. So we have quite a bit uh, to, to cover. So what I'll do is uh, typically we, we uh, have an agenda for these types of uh, live streams. And what we'll be doing here is uh, really to give an introduction of the project and we'll uh, give an opportunity for uh, our panelists to kind of give an introduction about himself uh, and their team, and also what they've been, uh, what they have been working on, and really the integration between Chainlink uh, as well. So we'll be doing that for the next uh, twenty to thirty minutes, uh, and towards the end, we'll give an opportunity as well for uh, the the community on the live chat to to ask some questions, uh, which we'll try to to get to. Uh, so yeah, uh, without further ado, uh, perhaps uh, Joe, you could give us uh, kind of a, a quick introduction about yourself uh, and and the team. Yeah, yeah, uh, definitely. Spirex. Yeah, definitely. Uh, my name is Joe. Uh, I mean, I'm the uh, partner of CAC coordination in Spirex. Um, I actually the Spirex uh, project starts in uh, 2019. I am one of the like initial member of the project. Uh, back then, I was uh, a, a still. I mean. Uh, studying in UCLA for my math degree, uh, but I'm really interested in uh, cryptography. That's why I got into the blockchain space and all of the stuff. And it is in uh, 2019, Alfreda and another guy, um, a couple of guys, they reached out to me, say, oh, we need to do this. I mean, because they know I'm pretty into cryptography. I uh, analyzed the uh, popular cryptography consensus protocol, say uh, Tendermint, say uh, Polkadot already and say, we need to, uh, you have such a good idea. We should have a project. So this is how we start. And also I have friends who are also very interested into the blockchain and cryptography and all of the stuff. So this is how the project begins. So uh, in 2019, we uh, starting to design our own blockchain, uh, which end up in uh, what we call now BDL consensus protocol, BDL as consensus protocol. And actually we launched our uh, first test now uh, by the end of 2020, and we call it test that V1, and actually it got uh, uh, over 700 downloads without any incentive program. So at that moment, we are so excited. Yeah. So and because of this really good news, so we are now focusing um, more on the product side. So we have already have this infrastructure almost ready. So now uh, our whole team is focusing on the pro uh, on the product side. So basically, two product. One is called a uh, uh, our uh, uh, stable coin called USDS. Another one is a uh, community app called uh, Sprex Play. And Sprex Play actually just launched uh, three or four days ago. And it is a huge thing because now we have already, uh, I think the engineer told me we have over 200K downloads right now. <laughs> so it's a really big thing. Uh, yeah, and we now, yeah, because this is, uh, yeah, it's really not, we, I mean, we did not expect such a huge success, right? <laughs> so now our whole engineering team just study day and night just to uh, get the next generation, next version ready as soon as possible. <laughs> yeah, but uh, um, our uh, focus will still be, um, I mean, because Play is a community app, so our uh, focus now will still on the stablecoin USDS. Uh, we are very confident in this uh, stablecoin. Actually, many famous projects reached out to us to have the collaboration. Um, in just a very brief introduction to USDS, it is a stable coin that is combined a hybrid of a collateral crypto collateral and a crypto collateralized and also a algorithm adjusted stable coin. So a portion of the stable coin is backed by a basket of cryptos we uh, selected based on the historical data. We think this is reliable cryptos. Most of them are say, uh, stable coins, but uh, also some of them are just crypt uh, reliable crypto assets. So uh, this is one portion of the backend assets. Another uh, portion is will be backed solely by our native token SPA. Uh, and this proportion is adjusted by uh, a parameter. So it is a, a the algorithm adjusted. And at the beginning phase, uh, because uh, we need a um, solid backend asset to um, make people you know, feel confident about USDS. 
So uh, more weights will go towards uh, the uh, crypto collateral side. But when uh, people are getting more confident about our product, then we will focus more on the algorithm side to make it a more like a pure algorithm stable coin so it can scale up. Uh, yeah, I really like this idea. And uh, yeah, this is uh, what excited everyone in, in uh, SpurX right now. And we uh, really wanna see how it will go in the future. Um, yeah, so just a quick summary about our project. That's great. Yeah, thank, thank you for that uh, really in-depth overview. I think that that's really exciting indeed. And I just wanted to touch on uh, uh, one of the points that you mentioned about uh, uh, the, the play, uh, the Aspirix play. So uh, th that's amazing, 200,000 plus uh, uh, downloads or installs already in, in a short span of time. Congratulations uh, on that. Uh, could you tell us a little bit more about uh, that particular product? Is that kind of your, uh, I mean, it's, it's a consumer facing uh, app, I, I assume. So could you share a little bit more about how, yeah, how that yeah. works and the, really the vision? Yep. Yeah, uh, it is a community focused app. So, uh, I mean, I mean, this is not our, I mean, uh, core uh, thing we are focusing on, but uh, it's the first one we want to get attention to our community. Also, also uh, there is a mechanism called Snowball, which is uh, what we do to reward people who support us. Uh, so uh, in this app, this the Play app, basically it is a community hub. You can uh, talk to, uh, there's a contact list. You can talk to uh, people who are also interested in our project. And in the next uh, uh, version, we'll, we will have the instant message, the group chat, so people can actually talk and I mean, make connections in the app. And also we have uh, the, uh, all the basic, I mean, we are in the crypto world, so we have to equip our user with the basic e I mean, equipment. So there's also the basic wallet functionality in this app. So you can just uh, e deposit, withdraw your token, and I mean, when more going on, we have more games on the app. So you can have crypto to play games on the app in the future. Uh, so this is our focus, our uh, how we view the uh, Sprex play. Uh, and one thing uh, is the snowball. So this is the thing that you can uh, actually, I would say mine reward points uh, in the play. Uh, and uh, the more friends you invite, the more, I mean, the higher rate you get to uh, mining the, uh, the uh, the uh, XP point, we say. And uh, it is a, a good way to reward the community because I think uh, the, we need to um, have a way to support people who support our projects. Great. And I guess this is available now, right? So yeah, if, the, yeah. if the community wants to download it, they can check it out. Great. So we'll make sure to, to leave a link as well in the description uh, in the video after the, the uh, uh, the stream. Awesome. Th thanks for sharing about that. And, and obviously with Play, uh, Spirix Play having a, an important role in, in really developing your community and, and in bringing people together, I guess uh, it'd be interesting for you to share as well a little bit about uh, kind of the, the news and really the, the updates that you guys have shared uh, just recently this year and how we, we are collaborating, how Chainlink and Spirix are collaborating. So maybe you could talk a little bit more about, uh, yeah, really how you guys are using uh, Chainlink VRF uh, uh, with, with, with kind of the work that you're doing. Yeah, yeah. so there will be upcoming uh, airdrop series uh, this month uh, and we plan to do three rounds. And the one thing is we need to determine the random block height uh, at which height uh, in the uh, spa holders their asset amount are determined. And in, in turn, their airdrop amount is determined by their uh, spa token holding amount. So uh, determining the random block height is the first step to do the airdrop, uh, the whole thing. So we actually think about two ways when we uh, first start this whole plan on the airdrop. So one thing is we can just go a really simple one, just we'll use any hash function, say SHA-20, 236. And we just uh, tell the community which seed we use and just use hash function. This is one way, but I mean, it is, not decentralized, first of all. I mean, the whole process just determined by us. Uh, second, it is not that secure because uh, I mean, um, hash function. So it's just a simple hash function. So this is what where we just come up with the idea of, yeah, we can go to Chainlink, their VRF. So it is a verifiable random function, right? So it is a, the source is decentralized, which is good. And second, it is verifiable. So people can trust us um, this, uh, random number is random enough. Uh, so this is why we go to the VRF. 
And uh, uh, it is really good now. The uh, whole thing is like, we just deploy this smart contract, uh, the random number generator, which incorporates Chainlink BRF. And uh, I just, just generated the first random number uh, this morning for our first round of airdrop. Yeah, for, uh, I think it will happen uh, this Friday, 9 a.m. E e uh, e e Eastern time zone. So um, just, yeah, looking forward to that. It's amazing. Yeah, congrats yeah. Uh, on that. And it's it, it's really exciting. So, I mean, uh, clearly the, the community is excited about that. And there's a lot of work that, uh, that Spirix is, is doing to really incorporate uh, a lot of these exciting features and really try to help build the community. So, uh, in, you know, in light of that, maybe you could share a, a little bit more about how the role of your community plays in, in kind of the growth and the long-term vision of, of what you are you know, really attempting to achieve uh, in the next uh, few months and years ahead. Yeah, yeah. So, I mean, our uh, ultimate goal is to build a new, um, we call it a modern money. So we want to have this uh, modern financial infrastructure that can benefit everyone. So it will be an ecosystem. We have our infrastructure, infrastructure BDLS, which is pretty good. And we have the testnet ready and uh, going towards the mainnet. So it is the infrastructure um, on which we build our uh, modern money. So, and on the infrastructure, you need products. So the first one we will do is a stable coin because you need a currency, I would say, <laughs> on a uh, modern financial uh, ecosystem. So, and also uh, around this USDS stable coin, uh, there will be a series of DeFi products. It's not only a stable coin because the stable coin relies on uh, a AMM, I would say, and also a aggregator. This is our current design. Um, uh, yeah, and just wait for the detail. We will launch our white paper on USDS uh, this quarter. So um, yeah, if you are interested, definitely check out our white paper. Yeah, and this is the ecosystem we want to build. And also the play, Sprex Play, is a uh, main entry, I would say, to the whole Sprex ecosystem, the financial modern money world. And uh, we already have such a, um, Graphics, which uh, really we are very happy about what we are doing right now. So we are just uh, everybody is so excited to just going towards uh, our goal and our dream. Absolutely, that, that, that sounds amazing. Um, so I think we we uh, covered quite a bit already uh, here in terms of kind of the, the overview and, and really what you guys are, are working on. And, and it's quite exciting to see that. Is there anything you think that uh, we might have missed out here? So we, we talked about VRF and, and kind of the exciting stuff, the news that you've uh, shared earlier this week with the community and also obviously about the vision and, and about uh, the uh, Spirix play. Um, anything else that you, you think you'd like to share or, or kind of tease for us? So 2021 is, uh, it's turning out to be a really exciting year for DeFi and, and that, that connects exactly with what, what you guys are, are doing. Uh, anything that you'd like to share or perhaps tease what, what could be next for, uh, for the community to look out for? Yeah, I would say definitely USDS. Um, this is will be uh, the most, I mean, the hugest thing of SpurX coming out. And uh, also, um, yeah, see, I would just want to share a small tip for uh, people who are participating in our airdrop. So, uh, there, are, there are three ways uh, to participate in the air, airdrop event. Um, uh, and one, I mean, my suggestion will be um, go to the play one right? because uh, through the play, you can get extra, actually extra airdrop. So download the play and just how to get the extra points. Um, check out our announcement. There is a really detailed tutorial to tell you how you uh, claim your airdrop through um, play and get more airdrop to you so just a little tip here yeah that's a that's a great tip so for for the community who wants to to reach out and then kind of uh, download that i guess they just go to the app store again uh, yes. or check your twitter yeah. android yeah okay. i mean uh yeah android or ios either one great and it's available now that sounds, that sounds great. Uh, so I'm just going through here. We, we don't have any particular questions of uh, coming in on, on the live chat yet. Uh, and I think we've covered most of what we wanted to discuss. So um, if the audience would like to, to learn a little bit more and follow the progress uh, at SpareX, could you share with us uh, what, where it would be the best place to start? Uh, if they wanna know uh, how SpareX is going. Uh, yeah, I think that's exactly. first. Our website is uh, always the place you should check out. 
And second, we have a large uh, Telegram group, which is actively maintained by our marketing colleagues. So uh, if you are interested in our project, definitely join our Telegram group. And uh, yeah, we love talking to you. Any suggestion on how Sprex should go and uh, how to improve our product, we are really welcome those ideas. Um, also, I think another place is our Medium page. So we uh, will publish our research results uh, in a, uh, I think, bi-weekly base, uh, our Medium channel. So, um, and our researcher is really willing to discuss, have an intellectual debate with any uh, Sprex supporters. So definitely check out our Medium channel as well. Um, I will say this is the three main channel uh, you should go out to, uh, to uh, get connection to us. Sounds great. Yeah, and we'll make sure again to to leave that in this uh, in the uh, the show description uh, for anyone who wants to to go directly to those links. So yeah, uh, that that pretty much covers uh, and then wraps up our discussion for today. Uh, I just want to thank you again, uh, Joe, for joining us here, taking your time to to speak with us and the community. Also, thank you to to everyone who's who joined us today in the live stream. Thank you, everyone.